denied trying to influence their so-called independent senators. However, as it turns out, the environment minister has actually admitted to calling senators up and asking them to keep the carbon tax on. Now, let me read into the record, Madam Speaker, an exchange that the environment, environment minister had on December 14th at the Environment Committee. And I quote, the Honourable uh, Minister said, I had conversations with five or six senators. Yes, the Honourable Member from Dauphin Swan River. Five or six senators, what are their names? The Minister, I don't have them with me. The Member from Dauphin Swan River, can you table those? Minister, I'm sure we can make those available. Member from Dauphin Swan River, okay, thank you. Well, Madam Speaker, the Environment Minister did table with the committee three names of the senators that he spoke with, but only three names. But the Minister said he spoke with six senators. So it begs the question, who are those other three senators that the Minister spoke with? And Madam Speaker, this is just another example of a Liberal Cabinet Minister who is politically interfering when they want to get their own way. And no matter what the Liberals say about the Senators that they've appointed, it proves that they are not independent. And Madam Speaker, on this side of the House, we know that nothing needs to be reconsidered about this bill, and that this bill must be sent back to the Senate in its original form.